What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video, I'm going to be using what in my opinion is one of the best decks for the global tournament. So as you can see, I'm already 10-0, which is an incredible start. I'm going to work my way towards getting 15 wins, which is getting all the rewards. And this deck not only is good for the global tournament, I also think it's incredibly easy to play. So you can see it has the newly buffed guards in it. Originally, skeletons were in this deck. It was a very fast lava cycle deck, but now you got guards in it. Guards are really good because they serve as arrow bait, right? So if someone arrows your guards, then you can play your minions or vice versa. So if someone arrows your minions, then you can abuse the guards. Bomber is still very, very good after the nerf. Bomber is also a really reliable, cheap counter to Royal Hogs. Arrows are very, very good in this deck. They just synergize super well with Lava Hound. I mean, someone might play something like Minions or Bats, a you know good air counter that you can just wipe off the board right away. They're also going to be really, really good on defense. I feel like they're also good against... They're not bad against Royal Hogs, Recruits, and stuff like that that a lot of people are using right now after the Royal Hog buff. And then you're going to have the Inferno Drag, which is going to be really, really good against tanks. So before we head into the first game, if you guys would like to support me, use my credit code BOSS in any Supercell game. I really do appreciate all the support from you guys. It does mean a lot. So here we go, 10-0. Let's try to get to 15 wins, ideally without losing a game. So also, guys, please subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my content. Would really appreciate that. We don't have Lava Hound in our starting hand, which is unfortunate because with this deck, if I have Lava Hound in my starting hand, I usually like to start with it it's a good starting play and if you have guards or inferno dragon cycle it's really safe to do so we have dark prince heal spirit so he's probably using if i had to guess sparky which isn't too bad of a matchup especially if he has minions if he's using it with magami it's gonna be a little harder because our arrows won't get as much value but either way it's not going to be that bad because he doesn't have that many reliable counters to are lava pushes i mean even if he does have mega minion mother witch is not very good so mega minion only one good air counter that's it so he's gonna go e-barbs we can go guards here and bomber that should mm, it would have fully countered if he didn't go heal spirit but i think it will still fully counter it you see there that's a very nice trade we only had to spend five elixir and he spent seven and we're getting counter push with the bomber so that was a perfect trade for us He's going to go for a Goblin Giant. Very interesting play because it's actually not going to take out the Bomber. We can go for an Inferno Dragon in the back here knowing that he might play something if I play it too high up and like snipe it like minions and then zap it. And here we're not going to play anything else with the Lava. I know a lot of you guys probably would balloon here. You know why I'm not going to do it. I'm thinking we're already almost going to take that tower so why not go for the other lane and that's what I'm doing. So you see we're actually most likely going to either take his tower or deal a lot of damage to it. We will need to arrow this though, this is very annoying. But overall still an amazing spot right now even though that mother witch got a lot of value. You can see that um, we were able to take his tower so we're just in the driver's seat and look at the king tower. Um, Yeah buddy. You kind of let that Inferno Drag get a little bit too much damage there. Probably more than you anticipated, I bet. So, yeah, that's that's game. I mean, if that Lava just gets a couple shots and then we can arrow it, it's... He's doing everything he can. I feel so bad. He's doing the defensive rage. Oh, boy. He can't, he can't stop it. And that's what I was saying at the beginning. I mean, Sparky just doesn't have reliable air counters. So even though I have a hard time defending him, I should always be able to get at least one more tower. So even if he manages to take one of mine, uh, it's always going to result in the Lava Deck usually getting the... And you can see in this case, he literally had no air counter besides the Mother Witch. He had the, you know, the Heal Spirit, Mother Witch, and that's it. He didn't even have a Mega Minion. So that just made things even easier. Anyway, 11-0. Let's keep on going here. We'll find a match versus Mori. So let's see if we have Lava in our starting hand. If I do, I'm mm, no Lava in our starting hand again. So we'll wait a couple seconds, see if he wants to make a play. Um, he's going to go Mega Minion. So let's actually Bomber. I don't want to cycle my Inferno Drag just yet because Mega Minion could be something like RG or even something like Golem. But in this case, since he went Dark Prince, I'm going to have to play it because I don't want to play my guards into a char uh, charging Dark Prince because that, of course, is not a very good play. And we got kind of an awkward cycle here. We might need to... Let me think about this. I think I'm going to go minions. And he's got E-Wiz. That's not a good sign. E-Wiz is actually very good against this deck because um, it's an amazing counter to the 
Inferno Drag, so this is not going to be easy for sure. We can still win this, and also that was a pretty bad OG push. I don't know why he was that aggressive. Also, that Bar Barrel, I don't really think he need that, needed that. I mean, the Bomber would have only gotten one hit on the tower, so I don't really think that was a good play. We can go Lava here knowing that his RG is an Encycle. Um, we'll just ignore the Fisherman. I don't really want to go Minions because the Minions would, of course, go in front of the Lava Hound. We can take a little bit of damage. That's fine to do when you're using something like a Lava Loon. Obviously, you got to watch out and not take too much, but just that little bit is fine. So I'm going to Miner if he goes in for... We could actually try to predict the E-Wiz. Yeah, I kind of played it like right as he played it because I knew he would go for an E-Wiz. So he's going to try to... All right, that was a really bad defense. If he has a Fireball, I don't know why he played that Dark Prince. He probably should have just gone for a Fireball on the Balloon. But we're going to be able to take his tower nice and easy like that. Perfect time to go for the Lava Loon push because, again, as I said, his RG was out of cycle. So there was no way he could punish me, which meant he was forced to play all his support cards on defense. And now he's going for the RG. We can go for an Inferno Drag. And he doesn't have a e was in cycle, so he can't reset it. I don't even... He must have not had an Electric Spirit in cycle either. Otherwise, I don't know why he didn't play it. But... Either way, really clean defense there. We can just set up for a Lava Hound in the back. He's going to go for the Ewiz and the Mega Minion and a Fisherman. Wow, he's just playing all of his support cards at the bridge. So if you guys don't watch my channel, well, I'm sure a lot of you do have seen some of my videos. As an RG player, I do not approve of this gameplay. I can tell you that right now. Um, so Inferno Drag is not going to get reset, which means RG will not take the tower. It does almost take it, though, but we're fine for now. Oh. Okay, he just lost. I don't know why he fireballed the tower in this situation when I was building up a push. That is... I'm sorry to tell you, man. That's that's going to be game. Um, good luck defending this. I mean, if, if, if you defend this, I really do applaud you because it's not going to happen. I mean, I'm just going to keep playing cards every time I have the elixir for it. Y you're not defending this. Yeah. I, you know, I, I applaud the effort, I really do, but as I already said, you weren't defending that. There was no chance. So we'll take that. With that, we get another 12-0. Was that two three crowns in a row? Mm, legendary token? Oh, nice. Firecracker. All right, so yeah, all of these, of these, we got to strike the witch, obviously. Skarmie isn't... Okay, Goblin Drill's bad after the nerf. Okay, Baby Dragon, I'll take. Valkyrie's fine. Firecracker's fine. I'm fine with that. That's two three crowns in a row. Actually, three, because before I started... Wait a minute, I'm blind, I two-crowned him. I thought I three-crowned him. It would have been a three-crown if there was a few more seconds, though. Uh, that's probably why I got confused. Anyhow, we're 12-0, three games away from the goal. Lava in our starting hand, so we could go Lava first play. It, of course, is risky, but usually you want to do it. Um, it's in Clash Royale 2021, pretty much if you have Lava in your starting hand, you want to start with Lava. I mean, yeah, you can get punished, but more likely than not, it works out. Okay, that's... A little unfortunate that I had to arrow that, but I guess it's fine. It's gonna go. Oh no. So we're gonna bomber this. I'm gonna miner. Hopefully, we can take out this witch. If we don't take it out, that's gonna be really, really annoying. Come on, bomber. One more. Let's go. Alright, perfect. That's really good. It's a good start. Um, ooh, baby dra Uh, I don't know about that baby dragon. I'm gonna ignore it. Um, I was even thinking of playing a Balloon at the bridge, but then I realized he could cycle back to his bats pretty quickly. Even though he doesn't have the bats in cycle right now, he just has to drop one more card and then he's back to them. So, it would be a pretty dumb play. He's gonna Valk into the... Uh, that was a horrible Valk. He should have played that in the opposite lane. That just gives me a free card to support my Lava with. I don't know what he was thinking with that Valkyrie there. But we took advantage of that. And then I'm just going to arrow if he goes bats, because even though it's a negative trade, it's still... If we can just take out this witch, that would be perfect. We don't, but he just used his arrow, so now we can abuse the minions. This is what I was talking about. You have... If they arrow... And he didn't even arrow the minions or the guards, but if they arrow one of those, then you just abuse the other. In this case, he didn't even... I don't know what he arrowed. I think he just arrowed what? Like an Inferno Dragon, a Bomber? I'm just going to Guards here to pressure. Uh, I guess we'll Inferno drag, And he's going to have Mega Knight. Okay, we'll mm, arrow this. He's probably going to... Oh my gosh, this guy's... 
deck is very interesting. It's also being very aggressive. Um, it's gonna work. Wow. Um, okay, I was not expecting that. I'll be honest there, but we're gonna try to go in here knowing that his arrows are out of cycle, so I'm trying to abuse the minions. They're gonna be able to take out the baby dragon, and we will get the tower, so no need to panic. Um, the most important thing, though, is trying to defend this. I am gonna try to defend. I'm confident I can, because I don't think he has a big spell, but if he whips out something like a lightning, that would of course really suck, but I don't anticipate that happening. We are able to get the win, and even if he did have a lightning, we would just take a second power with the elixir deficit he'd be in, so another nice win there. Caught me off guard with that Mega Knight. He ended up getting a lot of damage from that Mega Knight Skarmy push. I probably could have defended it better to be fair, but in the end, didn't even matter. 13-0, good stuff, so two wins away from our goal. Let's see if we can get it without dropping a game. Lava in our starting hand again against Jura, so we could actually just go ahead and Lava. Wait like one or... Oh, okay, I'm glad I waited. See, that's why you always want to wait like just one, even just one second, because if your opponent is going to do something ballsy like that, like go Skeleton Barrel, Goblin Barrel first play, you want to make sure you actually have Elixir to defend it, so I'm glad I waited. But now we'll go for the Lava with his, I guess, most of his spam out of cycle, unless he has a whole spam deck in that case then he's always gonna have something in cycle hopefully he doesn't have inferno if he hasn't oh no we don't have any reset to the inferno there, we have no reset to the inferno if he has like delivery or arrows we're screwed that's kind of bad too i mean inferno inferno fireball that's not really what you want to see um I guess we'll bomber here. What I might do is go for guards and balloon because his inferno and fireballs out of cycle, and then we could try to arrow the dark goblin. Got back to an inferno while well played. So he cycled the log. Um, minions. I'm not gonna play anything else unless he like has a zap for whatever reason. Okay, okay, um, yeah, I'm not liking the situation we're in. Gonna Inferno Drag. Did he just play that all the way in the back? Why doesn't he just play it normally? Because then the bomber can't hit it all. I don't know why he's not doing that. I'm gonna air this, just to make things annoying for him, so he has to play something else. Minions this, and then we got guards if he fireballs for whatever reason. I doubt he will, though. Yeah. Come on, guards. Distract that inferno. Oh, man. We gotta go for another lava. And then, no, oh, you can see uh, this is such a hard counter. His cycle is just so fast. There's nothing we can do. That's sad. That said, yeah, I agree with him, honestly. It is probably a good game, unless he, unless he chokes, but it's looking pretty good. I don't know about that skeleton barrel, though. That didn't seem like the play. Wait. Wait. Did he just throw? He threw. Oh my gosh. He even called the early good game too. Oh my gosh. Alright, we gotta give him a little bit of BM for that. I'm sorry. You can't call an early good game like that and expect me not to throw one emote. Alright. Didn't think I would win that. That, um, not an easy matchup in my opinion. I mean, you might be thinking, like, how is that a bad matchup if he only has really, like, two air counters and I have arrows for one of them? The problem is that I have only one spell, right? Arrows. 
and his cycle's faster than mine. So many times he goes in for the Goblin Barrel. I don't have arrows in cycle. Inferno Tower I have no reset for. It's a 5 for 7 trade against the Lava Hound. I can't ever outcycle the Inferno. You saw at one point I thought I outcycled it, and then he had another one in cycle. So it was just pretty difficult. I think the main reason he lost that was he got over aggressive at the end with that Skeleton Barrel, and then he didn't have the Elixir he needed, and I overwhelmed him. I think that Skeleton Barrel was bad, and he... I don't know. I think he just... He got too, probably too overconfident. I'm not sure, but we got a little lucky there at the end. Anyway, here we go. Um, another Goblin Barrel. So this could be, um, I guess, Log Bait again. Um, I assume it might just be regular Log Bait, because that last guy doesn't... That deck he used, most people don't run that. Most people use Log Bait. Um, okay, I don't know what this is. He's got Valkyrie and Knight. That's, um, that's very bizarre. I officially have no idea what this is. Our Inferno Drag got a lot of value, though, and the Bomber. I'm very tempted to Lava Hound in front of this, but I'm not going to just due to the fact that I don't know what... Alright, I'm going to ignore this Goblin Barrel completely, because he just spent 6 Elixir, and if I arrowed that or played Guards, I wouldn't be able to support this Lava Hound push how I'd want. I'm going to go Guards here in front to take out this Princess. Let's see if he has an Inferno. He does have an Inferno, but bad placement, bad placement, it's not hitting the lava, and I don't even think, I could be wrong, that's not even going to hit the lava at all, is it? Right? Yeah, that was not the placement he was looking for, to say the least, it didn't even pull the lava, and it didn't even hit it. It essentially got no value. I mean... I don't know how he messed that up. He just had to play it either one tile higher, I think, or one tile more to the left, or both. Anyway, he just uses logs, so if he goes for something, some spam, we can just guards in the middle. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. We can just guards. And look at this. They're, they're going to clean, like, almost majority of it up. Distract it, help me get back to minions, and boom, now we're fine. Ooh, Princess is not hitting the minions. This guy's making some critical errors this game. And we are, of course, going to capitalize off of that. So we're just going to bomber this. I mean, he may take the tower. I don't know. Um, the thing with Lava is you don't want to over-defend. So we're just going to go Lava in the back. I don't want to waste all my Elixir trying to defend. Um, we're just going to just try to build up another push. So if he somehow takes my tower, we can just, we can just take his, you know. It's probably the best way to put it. Like, you can take my tower. I'm fine with that. Because you ain't defending this. Because, what, you're going to have to rock it to take ours, probably? Yeah, that's it. That's it. We won. We're even going to get the 3-crown. Add insult to injury, right? Well, um, that was um, a lot quicker than I expected, getting those 15 wins, so um, shall we play one more bonus game? I guess even if we lose, it's not the end of the world, because 15-1 isn't bad, so there's no no pressure. Let's go ahead and claim these rewards, and I'll play one more bonus game. I know a lot of you guys like it when I play an extra game, because I guess more games, the better. Um, I don't like it when my videos are too, too long, but as long as they're not you know, over 30 minutes or so. I don't think it hurts playing another game. So, here we go. Um, last game here, this is a bonus game. Hopefully we can win this, get 16-0, which would be incredible. So we're going to Miner here on this Barbaro. He's going to go for a Cage. So, he might be using Recruits Hogs. Yes, he is. We're going to go Minions on top of that. Uh-oh. Okay, good. That could have been very bad. That could have very quickly been bad news. Luckily, it was not. Zappies. Okay, so yeah, it's just recruits hogs. He probably has recruits, unless he's using it with maybe Mega Knight, but more likely it's recruits. We'll see which one he has in a second. We have a huge elixir advantage right now, so it was the perfect time to drop a lava. And the best thing about this is he doesn't have a Zappies in Cycle, 
Mother Witch, as you guys already know, is very, very bad against air cards, so he's probably going to have to give up this tower or at least take two balloon hits. So those arrows just got a lot of value. Um, I think I'm going to go Bomber here, and then we're going to go Guards. This should be able to... Oh, he's got Flying Machine too, so he actually has three air counters, but Flying Machine and Mother Witch aren't really that good against the balloon. So I feel like we're probably fine. I guess we can Inferno Drag. He might go Hogs here. I don't know. I don't know if he has Fireball. He, he might not have Fireball. I'm not sure. I'm going to Lava Helm now. Probably go for the 3 Crown in this matchup. And it looks like we definitely will because he cycled two Zappies in the right. And we're going to arrow that. We have to. That's amazing value. We're going minions here. Does he split the hogs? Yeah, he does. And nice. We aren't going to lose either of our towers either. If he takes one of our towers, though, that's where things could get really dicey and we got to watch out. I'm going to go for a balloon here. And then let's get ready to arrow. He does have Fireball, wow. So this is actually not that easy of a matchup in my opinion. Because he's got an extra air card, a Fireball. I think we lose our tower here, because Hogs are broken. Please, please take out the, the flying machine. Oh. No. At least that bomb killed everything. I think we lost. I'm sad to say I'm pretty sure we lost. Wait, those recruits were not very good. He just used all of his elixir. Just death damage? Yes, we got it. Oh, I thought he was going to fireball. Whew. All right. 16 wins, zero losses. Not too shabby to start off this global tournament. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this video gets a lot of support, I don't ask for, you know, likes on videos very often, but if this video gets a lot of likes, a lot of support, I'll do another video going to 25 wins, attempting to go to 25 wins in the global tournament, probably on this account. I still have my main account and other mini, of course, but I save one of them for streaming, so this is probably going to be the account I'm doing the global tournament videos on, so if I do do another... Um, it'll be on this account going to 25 wins. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. If this video gets a lot of support, I definitely will consider doing another video on the global tournament. And this is the deck again. Um, I definitely will give it a try. I think it's it's pretty easy to play. I mean, I just think the guards buff, very noticeable. And it changes a lot of interactions, makes them a lot better on defense and even on offense. I mean, when you have a Lava Hound tanking for them or like the Miner, for example, it's, you know, they, they do a pretty good job. That's going to be it. Make sure to like the video if you guys did end up enjoying it. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. And thanks again until next time, guys.